Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Today's devotion for Tuesday, August 4th, comes from Colossians chapter 1. In today's text, we are reminded that our Lord Jesus Christ cares for his creation and for his church and holds it together. We read, And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together, and he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. What wonderful news! We are assured that Christ has created all things and holds it together. He came into this world for us men and for our salvation, became incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary. Everything he did, from his incarnation to his perfect life, to his death, his resurrection, his ascension, was holding us together. And we have been baptized into this reality, into the body of Christ, so that we could have Christ as our head. And he as our head holds the church together and sustains it and gives it gifts that it might be strengthened and cared for. He didn't leave us alone, but he shows us his love. Without him, the world, and all things would cease to exist. But no, he is above all things. He is in control no matter what happens in the world. And he cares for us. He gives his church what it needs to be supported by giving us pastors and the sacrament and the word. That is how he sustains his church. And he is over all creation no matter how things may seem, no matter how, no matter how chaotic the world may become. He cares and sustains it all. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks that you have blessed us beyond what we deserve and given to us your church. Guard her life by your spirit and strengthen her witness before the nations. Bless all pastors and church workers in their service to us in your name and bless those now considering and preparing for church work vocations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we, daily, we are daily and richly surrounded with your love and care. Grant us eyes to see your mercies new every morning in grateful hearts, that what we have received we may share with those in need and generously support the work of your church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we remember the saints who lived by your mercy and died in Christ. We long for that day when all divisions will end, and the church in heaven and on earth shall be one in your presence, singing your praise and your kingdom without end. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, blessed Lord, we pray you grant to us according to your merciful goodness, and for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. May the Lord bless you and keep you this day. Amen.